which conspiracy theory do you believe is true? Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated by the FBI. Before he even died he was sent a threatening letter from the FBI that basically said stop doing your doing or we'll expose your cheating to your wife. There had been another man called Raul that James Earl Ray had met before who he claimed was deeply involved in the case. He even asserted he didn't personally shoot King but may have been involved in the assassination unknowingly. Heck even the King family doesn't believe that James Earl Ray killed King. There's still more other info online about this than I wanna talk about but honestly from the point of view of the FBI at that time, it makes sense to kill King. He was becoming a big influence in the black community, and so to combat that, they cold visually killed him, and set someone else up like, Ray to take the fall. The first NBA draft lottery was rigged to give Patrick Ewing to the Knicks. On the video the commissioner pulls an envelope out with a clearly bent corner and sighs a huge sigh of relief when he reads what's inside. Throwback Thursday was invented so that social media apps, mainly Facebook, could build and develop facial recognition technology showing the faces of people over time. Edit, a word. Edit 2, there are a lot of people replying who don't understand a huge percentage of Facebook users these days are your parents, uncles, aunts, and grandparents who have, literally, decades worth of printed photos sitting in show boxes that would never see the light of day again, if not for schemes like these. TBT is not for you 20 to 30 somethings who are simply reposting a photo you took in college 10 years ago. That's crazy. I thought I was the only one who knew about this. My family has a lot of Vietnamese friends, and we are very close. They have some sort of party every year, and we are invited, because we are almost like family. They always have an apple cracking contest among the adults and older teens, and everyone can do it. I asked them how, and they responded with the same thing, all Vietnamese people can. I have a feeling this was like that hand snap people would do in high school from flicking their wrist really fast, or to be followed by an unorthodox barium. I was raised in a very rural Canadian school lol. Edit, bam not damn. I think everyone from Alberta can do it. You're just born with it. I've always thought that competition reality shows purposefully send someone home each season that deserves to stay so that people get mad and talk about it online and get other people interested in watching the show. I respect the people on Chopped who just walk on screen and go I like cooking. I want to win because that money can send me on a nice vacation. Then they just do their thing. No sob story or anything. Those are always the ones I want to win but they almost never do. They end up being the last person chopped because the other person has a story about their brother dying and how cooking is a way to honor their memory or some shit. I think this would make sense, except that literally everything damages your skin. I haven't worn MacUp in a while due to COVID-19 and my skin is an absolute disaster RN just due to food, hormones, stress. Wish I knew. Edit, I just wanted to make a funny relatable post. Please stop giving me skincare advice. I have a skincare routine already, and I'm not actually that concerned with having perfect skin. The most damning piece of evidence is Corey Feldman coming out and emphatically denying that MJ ever abused children. Feldman was subject to an incredible amount of grooming and abuse during his period of fame, and has since made it his life mission to out as many Hollywood pedophiles as possible. He also was extremely close to MJ. I know a lot of people argue that Jackson's estate has silenced a lot of his victims, which might be the case, but I'm inclined to believe Feldman. For what it's worth, Macaulay Culkin has made similar comments backing up what Feldman had said, in that MJ worked extremely hard to shield these young actors from abuse and not subject them to it. Epstein didn't kill himself, and they turned it into a meme, so we could say it over and over again and never understand the true meaning behind those words, i.e. the fact that people in power very blatantly had him killed and will get away with it. Definitely not just in Hollywood. South Korea has been churning up lately. Burning Sun, Nth chat room. We are decently sure Jang Jiayin did not kill herself. Her agency prostituted her, and then when she threatened to out them, writing a long laundry list of all the clients who bought her, and despite wanting to take it to court she killed herself suddenly. Ficking vile. I can only imagine the damage this has done to Brookshield's psyche. 
and there's no way people are viewing naked pictures of children, or having children act in films about prostitution because it's art. How wonderful these pedophiles can not only hide behind this bullshit, they can also get away with it, and profit from it. While not as bad as what you're describing, teen celebrities are also often sexualized. Pretty much every beloved teen show on Nickelodeon, from Drake and Josh to iCarly to Victorious was made by Dan Skneeder. There's no doubt in my mind he's a pedophile. He used the official Salmon Cat Twitter to try to get tween girls to send pictures of their feet to him. Matter of fact, there was a lot of foot stuff in his work iCarly and Victorious were the worst offenders. That hot dog manufacturers have a secret agreement with the bun companies to produce different amounts of each product. I don't know the numbers exactly, but for example, you need dogs for a cookout, so you buy some, and the only available package size is 8 hot dogs. Then, you go and get some buns which only come in packs of 12. Therefore, once you cook your 8 hot dogs you still have leftover buns which means you will buy more hot dogs to use those buns, and you will then have to buy more buns to use those hot dogs that were bought to finish the original buns. The cycle continues. Nixon really went behind LBJ's back, and monkey wrench Nixon's word, peace talks to help his own campaign. LBJ found out about it, because of a secret CIA hidden microphone. LBJ wasn't in on it, in fact he said Nixon had committed treason. He couldn't prosecute Nixon because, to do that, they'd have to disclose the existence of the bug, and they felt that was more valuable. I replied to op but essentially mattress firm, won the mattress war, and bought their competition. Then they rebranded the stores, that they had bought. So now your town has way too many mattress firms. Trust me, I really like the money laundering theory. It's why I did more research, so I could prove it. Sadly I found the opposite results. I can back this up too. Not too far from me, there were three mattress stores in one strip mall. Mattress firm bought the biggest one. One of the others was already owned by the biggest one, so Mattress Firm acquired two. Within a month of rebranding, the third sold to Mattress Firm, and now there are three Mattress Firms in one shopping center. Looks ridiculous, but they actually have it sorted out pretty well. The biggest one is the main store with a wide range of mattresses, the smallest is the really high-end mattresses, and the middle size is all the economy mattresses. Makes it easier to shop for your price range. Not only that, but they are also watching us, loads of tech devs have even said so. Edit, it's not necessarily watching, but more like tracking, using search history, contacts, locations, etc, which can designate specific interests in ads and stuff like that. But who knows, if anyone uses cameras, which is entirely possible, but difficult, it's not like they'd say, so anyways so who knows. Planned obsolescence is straight up taught in schools now. It's part of the design process. It's not a conspiracy. Part of it is driven by money, but the other is, because manufacturers and developers are always working on better versions of the product, and expect to have a way better product out, before you need it. P.S. I think Dell got in trouble a few years ago when one of the design team came out, and straight up said, that they designed their products, to last 2 years and 6 months, which is about 6 months past their warranty. It got covered up almost immediately and disappeared, so I can't find the source. And, yeah. Then SIP is definitely just trying to gather intel. Market manipulation by government backed entities, when it comes to agriculture is definitely a thing. I know it's not the same, but have you watched Super Size Me 2, holy chicken? Spurlock decides he wants to open a chicken fast food restaurant, essentially just using it as an excuse to learn the ins and outs of the gross evils behind fast food. What he discovers, actually, is the insane and horrible way chicken farmers are treated in the US, and that big chicken, backed up by the US government, not only exists, but essentially has a monopoly on all chicken farming in the country. They will arbitrarily decide what each farmer's chickens are worth, meaning if you piss them off, they will just be like okay, you only get paid this for your chicken now, because you. The reason we don't have free education and free healthcare in the United States is because those are the two big factors to why people join the military. They can promise the GI Bill and the hospitals to all people that serve. If you take those two huge motivations away then you will lose a big percentage of recruits. 
she's literally been performing since she was 8 with Kelly Rowland in a girl group called Girls Time in 1990 there's videos online of them performing at local shows they both look their age. Her dad took over management and created Destiny's Child in 1995, she was 14. All of the group members were around the same age and clearly looked like teenagers. Michelle was 16, Kelly and Bianca were 14, but they were marketed as a group of 16 year olds. Bianca is the product of stage parents and started her career at a young age. She was 16 when the group started becoming famous. She seems older because she's literally been a famous singer for 20 plus years. Conspiracy theorist dies and goes to heaven. At the pearly gates, God himself says you've led a good life and as a reward, I will answer any one question for you and I will give you the complete truthful answer. Okay, says the conspiracy theorist. Who killed JFK? God says Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Conspiracy theorist says this goes deeper than I thought. Several important secret services, say, in North America, East Asia, Europe Russia, have had access to the real death toll in China. They sat down with their corresponding head of state and showed them the figures. This is why so many of them accepted the lockdown, even if at first they were against it. This is why there have been new turns in 24H from I don't fear that virus, it's just like a cold to if you don't stay home, you are a dangerous criminal. They have seen the dreadful figures. Beyond a certain number of casualties, everybody suddenly becomes very serious. It's not about the people dying, let's be honest, they don't care. It's about them being overthrown, and not very gently at that, by their constituents. Those who don't understand, well, too bad. They'll be on their own. 1. She told multiple people before she died that she was going to be murdered and that they'd make it look like a car crash. 2. They passed multiple hospitals and drove around for several hours after the accident. She alive when they first got her out of the car. 3. M armed illegally before toxicology tests could be done slash pregnancy tested for. 4. There were weird things with the driver's toxicology report and video of him right before they drive. Doesn't look impaired at all. He looks freakishly sober. 5. I forget where, but Me6 has used the flashing of lights and a motorcycle to cause accidents before. I believe it is impossible for life not to exist elsewhere. Think of it this way. Billions of stars in our galaxy. We don't know how many planets are in the habitable zone for each star. There are trillions of galaxies. With the statistics that life just happens to spring into existence, it's bound to happen more than once. There's probably many thousands of planets with life. Maybe not intelligent life, but life. Thanks for watching this video. If you already subscribed thank you very much. Public daily new videos you can check previous videos.